friends uh, today we are going to explain about resin uh, so what is resin uh, in polymer chemistry and material science uh, resin is a solid or highly viscous substance of plant or synthetic origin uh, that is typically convertible into polymers it is a mixture of essential oil oxygenated products of terpenes, uh, that is aromatic compounds found in many plants and carboxylic acids. Okay, so resins are usually mixtures of organic compounds. Plants secret resins for their protective benefits in response to injury. The resin protects plants from insects and pathogens. Okay. Most plant resins are composed of terpenes. Specific components are alpha pinin, beta pinin, delta tricorin, and sabinin. The monocytic terpenes, limonin, and terpinolin. Small amounts of the tricyclic sesquiterpenes, lonjipolin, caryophyllin, and delta cabinin. Some resins also contain a high proportion of resin acid. Rosins, on the other hand, are less volatile and consist inter alia of the terpenes. Okay, uh, examples of plant resins include amber, gum glycum from the lignum vitae trees of the genus glycum, mirror from shops of coniflora, and turpentine, distilled from pine resin. The word resin has been applied in the modern world to nearly any component of a liquid that was set in the hard liquor or in a like finish. An example is nail polish. Certain casting resins and synthetic resins, such as epoxy resins, have also been given the name resins. Some resins, when soft, are known as oil resins, and when containing benzoic acid or cinnamic acid, they are called balsams. Oil resins are naturally occurring mixture of an oil and a resin. They can be extracted from various plants. Other resinous products from the natural condition are mixed with gum or miscellaneous substances and known as gum resins. Several natural resins are used as ingredients of perfumes, for example, balsams of Peru and Tolu, alumi, styrax, and turpentine. Plant resins are valued for production of furnaces, adhesives, and food glazing agents. They are also priced as raw materials for the synthesis of other organic compounds and provide constituents of incense and perfume. The hard transfer resins, such as cupels, dimers, mastics, and sandals, are principally used for furnaces and adhesives, while the softer odoriferous oil resins, such as frankincense, alumi, turpentine, and copaiba and also gum resins containing essential oils such as ammonia cum, esophytida, gimbos, mir, and scamony are more used for therapeutic purposes, food, and incense. Many materials are produced by the conversion of synthetic resins to solids. Important examples are bisphenol A diglycidyl ether, which is a resin converted to epoxy glue upon the addition of a hardener. Silicones are often prepared from silicon resins via room temperature vulcanization. And if you are really interested in resin, uh, I can have some additional information for you. Uh, so the natural resin, not the synthetic one, they, are, they occur in plants. They are part of a family of uh, substance called terpene. Uh, they take part in defense mechanism of plants, so you can say to some extent a uh, they defender of plant. Hey, the more you know. So yeah, uh, they are, they are uh, they are polymer. They made out of a uh, monomer called isoprene unit, uh, isopentane. And the way that they produced it, the plant is one of the pathway. The first of the first is mevalonic acid pathway, the primary one, and the second one is the pyruvate pathway. Now I'm not going to talk all depth into this one since they are technical biology and not chemistry and yeah that's it. Thank you. Today we are going to talk about the uses of resin. Now I'm gonna make two bold assumptions. First, 
you already know what the resin is. And second, since there are a lot of synthetic resin up there, I'm going to, need to pick one that is more, uh, what do I say, uh, abundant, the most easiest to work with, and the most useful one, which is polystyrene, sulf polystyrene sulfonate. Now the way that that works is really interesting. Uh, if you look at their structure, which I encourage you to do, the these sodium ions dangling, uh, connecting with, connecting loosely to that oxygen atoms. Yeah, and these sodium ions are gonna take part in what's called a colligative properties. So let's say I put this resin inside the water, then they're gonna increase the osmotic pressure of this water, and the water is gonna be compelled to flow through that resin instead of going around it right and let's say that those water carry some toxic substance such as uh, heavy metal like cadmium or arsenic. Let, let's take cadmium right so water filled with cadmium highly concentration of cadmium gonna flow through that resin and due to the law of thermodynamics and the chatelier principle it's gonna flow inside that resin and gonna kick the sodium out and replace it with cadmium so water flows through with cadmium it's gonna exit with sodium okay so exchanging one potentially harmful substance towards the non so harmful ions that's why it's called ion exchanging resin right and this resin filled with cadmium can be used again and again and again the way they, they do it is that by picking up this resin and put it in the highly concentration of sodium due to the law of thermodynamics again the same principle as before you're gonna kick those cadmium out and replace it with sodium in which you can use it again and again and again and again but like all good things in life they cannot go on forever since well let's take for some unknown reason like uv light or something you're gonna replace those backbone the backbone gonna get damaged in which it will lower the efficiency toward that particular heavy transition metal the resin is not going to be efficient enough, right? In which you must like uh, either dispose it or second recycle it. In one of both, this is going to pose a lot of problems since, well, not a lot of problems, actually, a really simple one. Since they are made out of polymer, like styrofoam, it's in the name polystyrene, styrofoam, it's the same. They are really hard to dissociate, right? So, in order for you to recycle it and you need to dispose it, you need a post processing method by some un, let's say bacteria or other chemical either way you need to put some more effort in order to dissociate it and dispose it or recycle it in which it, it will cost some money of course and that's the downside of it uh, but hey you can drink clean water so I take it <laughs> thank you Okay, so I'm going to explain the synthesis of synthetic resin or polystyrene sulfonate. The first benzoyl chloride is added by uh, 1,3-propane diamide and also methyl 3 methyl benzoate as catalyzed by EDC or 1-ethyl 3 dimethyl aminopropyl carbodiamide and DCM or methane in 0 degrees Celsius. And the next reaction is catalyzed by cuprum bromide and anisole 2 2 b pyridine has added on sodium azide and also DMF or dimethyl formite in 50 degrees Celsius and, and it becomes polystyrene sulfonate. Lately, there are many terminations of employment have been happening everywhere since COVID-19 pandemic started. This phenomena has certainly made many people find it difficult. Many sectors of work and since many people got laid off, some have decided to be entrepreneurs 
These options are many to start with. Start from a small business, you can do it easily from home, like homemade food, parcel, until handmade craft, with many variative prices from such small and simple things like accessories, miniature, until custom-made furniture. And maybe you can consider resin based products to start your own business. This business has been chosen as a good option because lately the business growing rapidly and suitable for small scale business. Not only that, resin waste product also has its own trend because it's aesthetic. We want to start this business from small and simple things. So we choose K Chan and it's more universal to gender and economic than other resin based products. Now, we will show and explain estimated venture capital that you need to start this resin-based product business. First, from the main substance of the product resin, for a kilogram for both the resin and catalyst. The average price in the market now goes for around 80,000 rupiah, with one kilogram of the substance we can make a chain up to 30 pieces. This price is already cheap because we won't need to purchase another material for polishing step. This kind of substance already crystal clear when it's got harder. Maybe the price can get cheaper if we buy it on large quantity. Accessories. For this material, we need to prepare 45,000 rupiah. With this press, we can make 30 pieces of K chain. Next, we need K rings for 100 pieces of this item. We need to prepare 30,000 rupiah. After that, we need silicone mold and scale. The prices of silicone mold is very best on its size. But for the size we gonna use, it's going to be 20,000 rupiah for its piece. To purchase a scale, we need to prepare 45,000 rupiah in advance. For another tool like glove, plastic cup, and stick, we need to prepare 15,000 rupiah. So the total venture capital we gonna need is 235,000 rupiah. With this total of venture capital we mentioned just now, we can make 30k chains. Now we will explain the price we sell for this product. In market, the price for accessories with decoration like little knickknacks goes for 15 to 50,000 rupiah right now. If we go for 30,000 rupiah per keychain with 30 pieces of keychain loan, we will get 900,000 rupiah in gross profit. With 235,000 rupiah for venture capital, we get 665,000 rupiah for the net profit. Thank you. We already did analysis on this business. Now we will explain SWOT analysis that features strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of this business. First, strength. We have many reasons to choose this business, but mainly because of the trend in community, especially people who have different but simple aspects of aesthetic. Resin-based product that they have been a trend because it's cheap and have its own feature of aesthetic. Not only that, we can get resin soften easily and make it to many unique and creative products with many shapes and varieties. Next, we have some weaknesses. All of our resin-based product is fragile. The bigger the product is, the bigger venture capital we need. And lastly, we might find it difficult with the cost. The bigger the product is, the bigger venture capital we need, and we consider that we might cannot raise really cost too much. This might affect our price in market. We might also face some threats stop from things like copyright. Many competitors will copy each other concept and products. Intense competition between resin-based product sellers because of the price, and the biggest challenge here is to follow and still limit the trend of ourselves. As time goes by, we must pick a trend with many new concepts so customer won't get bored and happy with our first idea of resin-based product. But we think with the strength that we have and the opportunities, we can face those weaknesses and threats. We have some opportunities like innovative and creative products. We get a chance to dominate the market, both in offline and online business, with our first idea and unique product that we made. 
and our product not confined by standards like gender or age, and we feel positive about these opportunities. First, prepare all the material and tools that we need. For the material, we need a set of resin satin with the catalyst, curious and little knickknacks. We use dried flowers and leaves, but it's up to you what kind of decoration you want. Next, for the tools, we're gonna need three plastic cups, silicone mold, a pair of gloves, scale, and a stick to stir the mixer substance. Now we're going to show you how to make this resin based product. First, pour separately in two cups the resin substance and the catalyst, with ratio 3 for the resin substance and 1 for the catalyst. Mix these two substances in a new cup and stir it well with stick. After you finish stir the mixer substance, wait a little bit until the bubble that form decrease, but don't put it on a long time because it will go harden. the decoration that you will use before you put it on the mold later. Pour a, a bit of the mixed substance into the mold until the surface is completely covered. Smooth it out with a stick, then put the knickknack you want into the mold. Mix the substance into the mold again until it's full. Fix the position of the decoration and give it a rest until it gets hardened. The estimated time to get fully hardened is 7 to 8 hours. before it's finished. Pour the keyring into each heart and there you go, kitchen made from resin. Hope this will inspire you to start your own business and thank you for watching.